Riot has officially announced that these are available for purchase, and they've sent me one. It's a World's Unlocked box. This is the physical version. There's a physical and a digital. The physical also comes with the digital. Uh, but I think a lot of people are wondering if this is something that's worth purchasing. So I'm going to channel one of my favorite channels, which is the Tolarian Community College channel. And I'm going to, uh, to give you a little bit of a review here today. Not as well as they do it, but let's try it. Many League of Legends esports fans ask the question, is it worth it to buy the world's unlocked digital or physical boxes? By the way, this video is sponsored by Alienware. Stick around until the end to hear more. All right, so before we go through each individual item, I just wanted to record a bit of an ad lib of me talking or going through the unboxing experience here because I think that's a lot of what these types of things are about is, hey, what is it like whenever you buy one of these? What's that experience like whenever you bring it home or it shows up at your uh, your apartment or place of work or wherever you get packages delivered so that porch pirates don't come and take them from you like many of you in my neighborhood. Uh, and so I thought I'd kind of go through that here um, because I have not opened this yet. Uh, full disclosure, I did see Kobe open his, well, he opened it and I was kind of paying attention, but I haven't really gone through the full experience yet. So uh, first off, there's this kind of, I don't want to rip this paper because this box is kind of wrapped in like this interesting paper situation, but I can't, I can't figure out how to open it without ripping it. Oh, actually, maybe you don't even need to open it, rip it. Maybe you just set it here and then you open the doors. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and try that. Nope. Do you see something, Drew? Slide it out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. No, it's like pretty. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. So the this little wrapper thing comes off uh, and you can use it later on to pretend you're on TV. All right. So we have the box here. So this thing, it looks like these are doors. Oh, hey, here we go. Okay. So it just, it actually does just part. You're not really opening the front. And then... I don't know how much we can we can show this here. Uh, I can't really see it from my angle, but you you all are getting a better shot of it than I am. So it says uh, the grind in the glory, which is Riot likes to choose like some you know take notes or the grind in the glory is like some sort of catchphrase for their creative, and I guess that's what this one is this year. So in the middle we have, thank you Drew, we have a crocodile. I believe this is a character in League of Legends, uh, but I'm not sure. I don't really play that game. Uh, <laughs> and then you can open these little plastic windows. You open it up and you have our first item, which is a bear. And I believe this is a character in League of Legends. I don't play that game. I just watch it and I never see this character in, uh, in those professional matches. So according to the tag on the back, this is a GB6675.1 2014. No, uh, yeah, so the tag here doesn't say too much, but, hmm? Ah, this is Tibbers, I see, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Obviously you get a Tibbers who's wearing uh, World's Apparel. I assume these are also available for purchase so that you can match with your Tibbers. Uh, it says the grind and the glory and worlds 23. There's something here that looks like it, it might be where a patch could go. I don't know if we'll get shots of that, but, or maybe it's just sort of a design of the thing. And then there's the world's logo on the back and the, uh, lol esports logo there. Tibbers collectible plus 23. Oh, this is nice. Just in case you misread it, you can open it and it'll say, the exact same thing uh, and then and then just in case you missed it you could get it one more time so that's kind of a nice way to make sure that you really understand what it is that you're getting all right now anyway I think I think it's pretty cool cu cute oh wait one thing to note is that oh, okay there we go for a second I was worried because if you lift up the hat there's it's just like empty here but he's got the little uh, button here I'm wondering if there's supposed to be a button on both sides I need to look up Tibbers oh no here he's got like a little X over his eyes maybe we can put a picture of tibbers in to make sure that this is a accurate representation then underneath the tibbers there is a little pouch with an envelope i think that's the only thing that's down here it's really just this little cardboard piece here and in the envelope it's going to say something amazing right it's a letter to me from 
Mark Merrill and Brandon Beck. Now, here we go. Uh, we are so excited to welcome you to Worlds 2023. Uh, Worlds represents the best of League of Legends, the top teams, the greatest players, blah, blah, blah. With Worlds Unlock Collector's Edition, we want you to have an extra piece of Worlds, both in-game and IRL, to commemorate and celebrate the culmination of the 2023 season. Uh, thank you for being a supporter of Worlds Unlocked, blah, blah, blah. And then Nas and Jeremy signed it in uh, print. And then in here, we got a little pin. I don't know how much you all value pins. I think there's a lot of people that really love pins. I am not a pin guy, uh, so I tend to find that these just end up stuck in a, a drawer or something like that. But for the people who really use pins, I think this pin looks pretty nice. Uh, we'll get, we'll open it up and get a nice little shot. We'll do insert shots throughout this. We've already been doing them. Uh, I'm just deciding that now. Um, but yeah, it's, it looks pretty nice. It seems pretty well made. It's, it's uh, metal and seems like it would hold up. Okay. Let's see what's behind. So that was the grind. Tibbers is a grinder. Uh, let's see what's behind the glory. Behind the glory is a championship Teemo and a hat. So I have been told by every woman I've ever dated that I can't wear hats. And uh, whenever I meet a new woman, I tell her this whenever we end up in front of a hat. And then she goes, oh, listen, this, this, they were toxic. Don't don't believe them. And then I put the hat on and they say, yeah, don't don't wear hats. Uh, you can't wear hats. This is. And so now you all are doing the same thing right now, telling me that I, I shouldn't be wearing hats. This is maybe a little tight. I can probably loosen this, but it's not. I don't I don't stay up to date with hat fashion. So I don't know if this is what's in. I know for a while it was like the flat bill. Uh, I could go like this. You know, this is when I was growing up. This is how people wore hats. So. Yeah, this is a nice little hat. It has the world's logo, it says 23. And then the grind and the glory on the side and the logo. And it's got this kind of like, it's like perforated in a, in a nice little pattern. Okay, so there's the hat. And then our last, I believe this is our last item. Let's see if I can get this out without. So this ribbon, I think this ribbon is supposed to help get you out. Oh, there we go, it does. I could just pull down the ribbon. Okay, so this ribbon, uh, we'll provide you with a World Strength 3 Championship exclusive collectible Teemo. Uh, and it does say it's a choking hazard, so don't try to consume this. Um, but it's a little disappointing that they're literally giving people choking hazards. Uh, and I should say this this video, it is sponsored by Alienware. It's not sponsored by Riot. They did not give me any money to, to do this video, so I'm just kind of giving you my unfiltered opinions. You can tell that this part was definitely not scripted as I just sort of go through it. I did create a lot of plastic. Maybe they should look into that. I don't know if this needed to be, well, maybe it needs to be wrapped as a collector's item, but all right, we're going to open this up. Here we go. So behind, behind this foam is our Timo and uh, he's headless, I guess. Or no, he's, yeah, the, the head has been cut off. He's bodyless. Let's see what. Let's see if we can find the rest of his body. Aha! Here he is. Okay, so these are kind of like the little figurines that they've sold in the past, I think, but it's maybe like an elevated version. Yeah. So here's Timo. He's he's somewhat dressed similarly. He ha he chose a different outfit than the Tibbers, because Tibbers has kind of a blue one on, and Timo's wearing a bucket hat and a little black hoodie and some leggings and some tennis shoes. And again, he needs to see it. It says World's 23 on the back. And then there's the bucket hat. Oh, there's some other stuff, I guess. So here's, you can, he doesn't really hold this. I don't think you can sort of Barbie style it where he's holding the trophy. He hasn't gotten it yet, but, and then here's a little scarf. Oh, I guess you can put the scarf around him and have him wear this. Is this how this works? Yeah, there's not, there's not really a way, a Velcro way to secure this. So I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe there's supposed to be a picture that goes with this. And then here, oh, he can wear these sunglasses. It says Hands in Factory. I don't know if that's the name of the developer who makes this product, but. Am I missing? Sometimes whenever I, I need to, this is why I don't do very many reviews of products. Cause I'm like, Am I stupid or does this not fit? 
I don't think that I feel like the glasses are supposed to go on him, but they don't. So I don't know, but they are a little small for me. Okay, so whatever. You get some glasses, which seemingly don't do anything. We'll just put those there. And then, uh, yeah, that's where that was. Okay, so we've gotten everything out. And again, I don't know where the scarf... The scarf feels like it should go on Timo, but there's not a real great way. No idea how the scarf's supposed to work. Maybe somebody else has done a review and is like smarter than me at how the scarf... with the scarf thing, but... Uh, we'll let Drew dress this up for the B-roll and maybe he'll figure out a way to make it work that I can't. So that's the unboxing experience. Let's get into the value of what it is that you're getting versus what you're paying. Okay, so just a quick note here after we've uh, shot everything or whatever. Uh, Drew did manage to get both the scarf and the glasses on, so clearly I just didn't know what I was doing. Uh, you wrap the scarf through the back of one, one side. There's like a little pocket there. And then the glasses you're able to bend to get on. Uh, but we have some footage here of something that he noticed when he was putting them on, which is that the glasses actually scratch the side of the figure and leave some pretty unfortunate marks on them. So we, we were at first not sure if maybe you weren't supposed to put the glasses on, but then the picture of this shows that Timo's wearing the glasses. So I would say either don't put the glasses on, or if you do, just don't ever plan to take them off. Otherwise you're gonna see these scratches on the side. But I, I think that's a pretty disappointing flaw. Also, what is he holding them on? His ears are up here. So he's just resting them on his fat cheeks. I go, that's an inner, uh, Timo, I don't know how you're wearing glasses, but that's a, that's a little weird. All right, so we've done an unboxing of the physical items, but if you are buying the physical box, it comes with the digital edition as well. You can also purchase the digital edition by itself. The digital edition is $65 while the physical edition is $125. So here's everything you get in the digital edition. And a lot of these items are not up in the store yet. So I used previous year's worlds as benchmarks for how much these cost or other items. Uh, so here's kind of like the comparative price. So the 2023 Worlds Event Pass, 1650 RP. Renekton Championship Skin and the Champion, if you don't have it, 1350. A exclusive Renekton Chroma to this box, 290 RP. The Renekton Timo Icon, which is also exclusive, at 250 RP. A Renekton Timo Emote at 350 RP. A Timo Mercedes Benz World's Ring emote at 350 RP. And then you can also get a World's Unlocked Unvaulted Championship Skin Capsule. And basically, it is a random skin from this list of previous world skins. So, Championship Riven 2016, Thresh, Shivana, Callista, Ash, Rise, LeBlanc, Zed, Kazix or Worlds Jarvan or Worlds Azir. And you don't know which of these you're gonna get. They've gone up in price over time. The old ones used to be about 975. I think the new ones are 1350. So I'm gonna average that out to, you're gonna get about 1200 RP worth of value there. And so when you add that all up, it's about 5,440 RP. And you can actually buy 5,750 RP in the store for 49.99, at least in the US. So the total RP value of all this seems to be less than $50, which is pretty disappointing considering the digital edition itself is $65. So there's a pretty big gap there. Some of these things are exclusive, but again, some of the comparable items in the past have also been exclusive. So I don't really see where they're making up that extra $15 or more than $15 really. Now let's look at the value of the physical edition. So the physical edition is $125. And what we did was we looked at comparable items in the Riot Games store. So this Teemo figurine, which doesn't really have a comparable item, but they also do have some figurines. I think the other figurines in the store for the most part are a little more detailed and a little nicer, but they don't necessarily come with like the accessories, like the world statue and scarf and all that stuff. So I'm valuing it at about $30. The Tibbers plush, most of their plushies are around $35. Their hats, or caps, as I guess the cool kids say, are $30. 
which I think is maybe a little more for a cap than I would expect. I think they're normally around 25 elsewhere, but let's just say 30 because that's what Riot charges for them normally. The pin, the comparable one from Valorant is $14.99. So again, a little bit more for a pin than I think, but there you go. So that all comes out to about $110 just in the physical items that you're getting. I give the packaging, which is really nice, still $0 in value because I think you're going to look at it, it'll look cool, and then you'll probably throw it out. I don't think you're going to necessarily use it to display the items, though maybe you can add more if you think that's good. So you're getting maybe $110 of value from the physical items, which then means that you're getting all the digital items for about $15 which is a lot better of a deal than the digital edition just for 65. And I think that's actually what could make this worth it to some people. If I had to give a rating to these, what would I give them? Well, I'm gonna give the digital edition a C minus. Most of these items are actually still available or presumably will be available in the store. There's a couple exclusive ones, but unless you really want the chroma or some of the icons or emotes or something, you can get like the world's pass and all that stuff, presumably in the store the same way you normally can. And I just end up feeling like, unless you really value the exclusivity of those items, it's not super worth it. And if you don't play Renekton or don't plan on playing Renekton, I think the value drops down a lot more here because a lot of that stuff is just kind of wasted for you. I think that's a little disappointing because I think these types of bundles or I know you get like a pass and all that stuff, but normally these types of things offer you a deal you can't refuse, right? Where you're getting so much value that it doesn't make sense to not purchase it. Like that's how kind of how it gets, you get sold on it. But I would not recommend the digital item or the digital thing. It's a C minus for me. The physical is actually still kind of held back by the digital. Cause again, you're getting the digital items with all that and it's kind of held, you know, the value is not necessarily there again if you don't play Renekton. I'm going to give the physical a B because I think that you do get some pretty good value out of this stuff. The big caveat here is you have to ask yourself, is this stuff that you want or would want? You know, the bundles are great, but you really need to look at how much of the stuff you would want on your own. So for instance, I've been told by my many previous suitors, I can't wear hats. So that's wasted on me. The Teemo kind of has that scratch issue, but maybe you still think like the figurine is cool. I don't tend to collect stuffed animals. I I think that they just end up, you know, in a closet at a certain point in time and then I don't really need it. So for me, the physical items are not there. And then I don't play Renekton. Um, I don't play League a ton these days, but when I do, I'm usually meaning Blitzcrank or playing other stuff. I just don't ever play Renekton. And so for me, the value is not there. Because it doesn't really have any additional enhancements to the way that you experience worlds in terms of watching or anything like that, I don't really know why this project is called Worlds Unlocked. There's nothing about this product that is unlocking worlds for me. I'm just kind of getting some fun cosmetics, physical cosmetics like Teemo wearing Worlds merch or digital cosmetics like a Renekton skin. So again, not really unlocking worlds. I feel like when they were first starting to kind of mutter and talk about this, it was gonna be, oh, you know, you get this this whole package and you get all these cool things. And I think if the digital experience came with a way to, for instance, uh, get access to some sort of cool exclusive VOD content um, that maybe if you don't stay up all night to watch the games, you get to uh, get like VODs that are casted by Captain Flowers or some pro players or something along those lines. You got some special pro view experiences where you get to watch these games from a pro player experience or some sort of enhanced viewing experience. I think that that actually makes it feel a lot more worlds themed. Whereas right now you're getting stuff that is, is cosmetically worlds themed, but not anything that actually in any way enhances your world's experience as it were. And most of these things are items that have existed previously, like a championship skin and a battle pass and whatever. So I do think Riot put a lot of work into the physical items and I don't want to diminish what those folks did. But as a first pass at this, I think there's a lot to be desired and I hope that they end up doing more in the future because this is, I think, really worth it if these are things that you want, but not necessarily something that I would recommend purchasing if you're not somebody who likes a, a plushie or a Renekton skin. Anyway, uh, thanks so much to Riot for passing this along to me. I, again, I did receive this. I didn't pay for it. 
I probably wouldn't pay for it on my own, but to a lot of people, I think, especially the physical version, might be worth it if you like these types of collectibles, if you think they're cool. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you like this style of video, please let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll review more Riot Games products in the future. Thanks so much for watching that video. Before you go, I wanted to show off the new Alienware Aurora R16 desktop. You know, sharing a space with my roommate, it's always nice to ensure that I'm keeping things quiet while I'm working or gaming. And with its new improved airflow and lower acoustics, my apartment is quieter than ever. All of this while keeping max performance from the hexaconal vents that allow ambient air in. Get yours today at alienware.com Travis.